What's going on guys, it's Joel here with as many reviews as possible and today we're taking a look at the Reebok Flexweave backpack. So the original Reebok Cordura CrossFit backpack was one of my favorite pieces of gear from last year. Initially it wasn't because I thought it was a little bit expensive, but the sheer utility, the durability, the quality, the finish, the construction, the, even the way it looks is awesome and really couldn't be beat for the price. It was $150, but like I said, all things considered, this is one of the best bags that you could possibly get. Now, this thing sold out really, really quick. It came back a couple times, it came back at the games, and then it came back in a few different colorways a little later on in the year. But overall, the backpack remained unchanged. The only thing that they did change about this was in the later iterations, they removed the shoe compartment, which might be a big deal for some people. So fast forward to 2018, Reebok has refreshed their ever so popular backpack with a huge construction change, and that is that the side panels are now made of flex weave. You got it, that is the flex weave material on the sides. The overall construction of the bag is still the same Cordura fabric almost all the way throughout. The front panel has a different style of molly webbing, but it'll work pretty much the same way. You can clip things on. It's a little bit less convenient if you wanted to use a carabiner like I did on my previous backpack. Now, the front panel also has a front pocket. So you can store whatever flat items, knee sleeves, whatever you want into this panel. It goes all the way down the length of the front part of the bag. The personal goods compartment has been redesigned and is much better now. The zipper is located on the top of that compartment, making the whole space useful rather than the original one where the zipper went across the front of this compartment. It still has the Velcro, so if you wanted to stick your patches on, you can do that still. Nothing inside of this has changed. It's still lined with like a softer felt material for if you wanted to put your sunglasses or glasses or wallet or cell phone in there, you could do that without damaging them. Now the side pockets largely remain the same, which is a good thing because I really liked how spacious the side pockets were. They do hold a full size shaker bottle. They'll even hold up to like a 40 ounce hydro flask, which is unheard of on most backpacks. The interior of that has like a little gusset. And then once again, you have the flex weave inside of there, which is basically just the panel that's on the side. The exterior of the right or left pocket has Velcro on it if you wanted to stick something on there as well. Now the other side pocket is largely the same except it has these little loops on it so that you can put your belt. That's what I use them for. I'm sure you could hang other stuff on them but it's just a little bit more convenient to hang your belt on the side and not have it in the inside of your bag taking up space. Now around the back of the bag, we have a separate laptop compartment, which is the same as the original backpack. There's not a whole lot different inside of this pocket. It's got a external sleeve and then it's got an internal sleeve. So you could fit a good amount of things back there that are just flat. The backpack straps are adjustable at the top. They do have a sternum strap across and then you can hook things on to the molly webbing on these straps as well. I really like the way that the straps are designed. They're a little bit more anatomical and they fit on your chest without chafing your like armpits or anything. So like the original backpack, the new one is still 40 liters in volume, plenty big to hold pretty much everything. Now moving along to the main compartment, the whole front opens up. Now, I'm gonna try to unzip this without having all my stuff fall out, but I can't guarantee anything. So the inside of this still has one pocket that is tricot lined. That's what I use for my jump ropes. The original one had two pockets in the inside. And then there is the gigantic main compartment. You can see that I have a ton of stuff in here. I've got my Evo rope. I've got some knee sleeves, two pairs of knee sleeves. I got some trail mix. Um, lifting straps, grips, hip circle, towel for my sweaty body, 
some clips, uh, a little sweatband from Misfit, a uh, little crossball, some wrist straps, plenty of space for everything, and then there is more Molly webbing inside of the bag if you wanted to throw anything in there. So like the later Cordura CrossFit backpacks, they did remove the actual shoe compartment from this backpack, but honestly it's not really a big deal. In place of that, they give you this little drawstring bag, which honestly works the same, right? Because the other way you put the shoes in, it takes up space in your bag. This way you can at least put the shoes in this, and then you can take this out of the bag as you please. This is actually a cool bag in that it has a drawstring compartment and then it has a zippered compartment that do not conflict in space with each other. You can put separate things in there and then if you don't want to use it you can just you know throw it out. So while I think incorporating the flex weave into the side panels of this backpack is a really cool and novel idea from Reebok, I don't think that it was the most practical one because if you've ever walked around in the rain in your Nano 8s or your Nano 7 weaves, your feet have probably gotten wet. If you were to take this backpack out in the rain, the stuff inside is more than likely going to get wet. While there is pretty good ventilation from the flex weave side panels, so your knee sleeves or your wrist straps won't get stinky, on the flip side, stuff inside of the bag can get wet. Now it really depends on the climate that you live in. I live in California where it does not rain a ton, so I'm not too worried about this. But if you are in a more humid or more wet environment where it does rain, you might want to consider that before you purchase this backpack because it does cost $150 like the original bags did. Now the new backpacks do not have the CrossFit branding on them. They just have this rubberized Reebok logo. Some people might not like that. Some people might not care. Some people might actually like that. Depends on who you are. Personally, I'm indifferent. I don't really care. I do like having the CrossFit branding, but it's not a deal breaker to me. Overall, I think the size, utility, construction, the everything except going out in the rain of this backpack is awesome for $150 and I do definitely recommend it if you are in a more dry climate. If you guys have any questions about the Reebok Flex Weave backpack, feel free to leave them in the comments section. And as always guys, please hit that like button, subscribe, and thanks for watching.